What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Sideswipes the Boss, back at it again with another ranking. And today we are going through another technically quote unquote Arrowverse show that was gone way too soon. Like, insanely too soon, especially for the quality of the show that it was. And that, my friends, is DC's Stargirl. So y'all already know the drill. I'm just going to give a little retrospective on my thoughts on the show and what it meant to me. And then I'll get to the traditional ranking of the seasons, which is going to be short since it only lasted three seasons. Criminally, criminally underrated, in my opinion. But, you know, we're just going to do that today. And if you do enjoy this video, just hit that like button. It takes two seconds. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Any support will be very, very appreciated. So, I really wasn't too excited when Stargirl was first announced. I'm not really, well, I wasn't that big of a fan of, like, the JSA. I didn't really know too much about them. I just figured, oh, they're, like, the older generation of the Justice League. And, you know, this show is supposed to be about the new generation of the JSA, per se. So, I was like, I'll give it a watch because it's DC. But I really wasn't too hype about it. But when I got into the show, like, really into it, boy, was I wrong. For the short time that the show was airing, which was only three seasons, it captured all of my attention. That's a big credit to the writers and the actors for making these characters so compelling literally right out of the gate like usually it takes a couple seasons for like for me at least to like warm up to certain characters unless they're like written really really well like some of my favorites from other Arrowverse shows but with this show they found a way to like make these characters so compelling so interesting right out of the gate I mean like you know, Courtney, Yolanda, uh, Rick, Beth, uh, Pat, <laughs> and all of them. Like, these characters were, like, so compelling. They have great chemistry with each other. And, you know, they just, they fuel whatever stories they're partaking in. And they're really good stories, by the way. And not just to mention the stories, but the action in this show was amazing. I believe I put a tweet out on my Twitter about this a couple of months ago or maybe last year. It was sometime when season three was still airing. Stargirl has some of the best fight choreography that I've ever seen in a superhero TV show, at least. It's so good. Definitely up there with the likes of Arrow and Daredevil and even the Punisher at times, too. And I think the fact that they didn't do these big fight scenes too often really worked in their advantage because they were able to put their all into like four or five big fight scenes in a season instead of you know every episode needed a fight scene and it it worked really well surprisingly well in my opinion but so well they were so good I could go on and on about like the great things about this show there are so many things that are so great about Stargirl, like the characters, the villains, the character arcs, the costumes, the fight scenes. There's just a lot of good in the show that I could go on and on about. Unfortunately, last year, however, it got canned when the whole Next Star slash upheaval at DC happened, and Stargirl was one of the casualties of that. And I was sad to see it go because we basically only scratched the surface of what this show's potential could really be. Like, we were introduced to, spoiler alert, like the Helix, I think it was Helix Foundation with like Mr. Bones and like he was going to make a team and stuff. At least that's what it looked like. Uh, we were going to probably be introduced to more JSA members like... What if they had their own Wally West, their own Roy Harper? Hold up. Wait a minute. Well, okay, I guess that's Young Justice, per se. But still, I mean, like, that would have been cool to see something like that. And, like, introduce more members to the JSA. Make it a true, like, organization. And 
I was really, you know, sad to see that that potential was snuffed out because of the idiots who work at these companies. But when I find out who's behind this, he's going to die. But overall, I enjoyed my time with the show. It was a lot of fun watching Stargirl, you know, weekly and interacting with like you guys on like Twitter and stuff, talking about the show. And, you know, hopefully we can get like a revival. James Gunn is in charge now and you know, he's been very adamant about there will be like Elseworld stories that aren't attached to his DCU universe in the movies per se. So who knows? Maybe we can get Stargirl to return. I know she appeared in that recent Titans episode. I haven't watched it yet. And I, I don't know if I want to, but I mean, I've gone this far with the show. I might as well <laughs> finish it out. So I probably will get to it eventually. But I don't want Titans to be the last time we see Stargirl. And I really want to see all of the characters again. Because it's just it's such a good show. And it really has so much more potential than it showed. And I hope that we can see them again one day. So that was my little retrospective on Stargirl and what the show means to me. And now let's get into the traditional ranking. Let me know in the comment section down below what you rank the seasons of the show. And let me know about what you think about the show as a whole. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you really enjoy it? Did you love it? Just let me know all that in the comment section down below. And if you do enjoy this video, just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. You have to decide if putting on that mask is worth messing up everything else in your life. Being a superhero doesn't mean that the rest of your life takes a back seat. It's about finding a balance. The staff chose me for a reason that goes beyond the Injustice Society. Who are you? I'm Green Lantern's daughter. Where's this villain from the old days? Why is he in Blue Valley? It's something very bad. Yeah! We're never gonna stop fighting to protect the world from people like you. Don't you teach these children any math? I know this has been difficult. The move and a new stepfather. But we're gonna make a good life. What is this thing? It's called the Cosmic Staff. <laughs> the staff's not supposed to work for anyone except Starman. Starman? I was Starman's sidekick. The Justice Society of America died saving the world. Someone must carry the torch. This is our destiny. Yes. That's cool. I think that there's a real opportunity here, Court, for you to learn directly from him. I can train you. I can show you some pretty great tricks. We're gonna get you on a good career path, okay? We're gonna find you a great job. Hey, that sounds terrible. Ain't no stopping us. We have been doing everything we can to fit in here. Would you like some help with that? We can help the bad guys break good. Ain't no stopping us, we do the impossible. They don't want you here. They're not our enemies anymore. You let half the villains that killed our friends move in next door. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. No matter what evil comes our way next.